What's up, squeegee slingers and water-fed pole wiggling wagglers? Welcome back to the Tradman Academy YouTube channel. Are you tired of hearing things from your clients such as, I'm sorry, I didn't get your ticket through the door. I didn't know you'd been. Sorry, I must have missed your ticket through the door. Maybe my dog ate it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get your invoice. Maybe one of the kids lost it. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't get your invoice. Maybe it's in my junk email folder. I'm really sorry. Oh, did you call around for your cash? Oh, yeah, sorry, I wasn't in. These are just some of the excuses that we tend to hear. Some of them might be genuine. Some of them might not be. But in this day and age, people are used to paying things monthly or by direct debit. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to quickly and easily get somebody onto direct debit using Squeegee app. Stay tuned. Right then folks, so I've got Squeegee app here in front of me on the computer and what I'll do is I'll bring this screen up in front of you so you can see it nice and clearly in just a moment. But if you cast your minds back just a couple of weeks ago, we did a video on Squeegee app showing you how to get a customer onto the system relatively easily. And my good lady wife pretended to be Mrs. Smith. So we have Mrs. Smith's account open just now. Now everything you see is all sort of pretend customers. None of this is real. There's, it's basically a demo account, okay? So don't worry, there's no data protection breach or anything like that. This is all fake information, okay, okay. So this is just for demonstration purposes. Now, to get Mrs. Smith onto direct debit is nice and easy, and that's what this video is all about. So once you've got Mrs. Smith's details into Squeegee app, let's get on the computer here. So we've got Mrs. Smith's account open here. And as you can see, we've got her name at the top just here, and we've got her email address, which we got when we first met her. And what we want to do is add her to go cardless. So we're gonna just walk you through how to do that. So the first thing to do is come down here to where it says automatic payment method. Click on that. And this brings up the section where you can link things like Stripe and Go Cardless and also use True Layer. Okay. Now, what we want to do is click on here and click on Go Cardless. Now, at the moment, because this is a demo account, I'm not actually going to link my Go Cardless account to this because I don't really need to. But just for demonstration purposes, this is walking you through how to do it. So, the first thing you need to do is connect Go Cardless to Squeegee app. So make sure you've got an active Go Cardless account set up before you do this, otherwise it's not going to work. So once you've got Go Cardless, you've signed up to them, this is where you come to. So clicking on Go Cardless, all right? So once that's done, you've told Squeegee app that you want to use Go Cardless to take the payment from this person. And then from here, you go down to this section where it says invite. Now again, because I haven't got Go Cardless connected to this demo account, the options to send them an invitation doesn't appear, but for you it will do. All right, so once you've got Go Cardless connected, just under where it says invite, you'll have the option to send them an invitation via email or text message. Now, because we have the client's email address, that's what I would want to click on. So just under invite, there will be a section for send invite via email. You click on that and straight away, the customer will have that email within the next minute or so into their email inbox. But just remember to tell them just in case, just to check their spam folder because occasionally it can land in there from time to time. But most of the time I've usually found customers get the invitation, no problem at all. Then they just open it put in their bank details, and then once that's done, you will get an alert come up just over here on the screen, this little bell icon. Now it says you're all caught up, you have no unread alerts, obviously because we have no incoming alerts at the moment, but once they've signed up, it will alert you in this section here that they are connected. There's nothing you need to do. It will be linked for you and ready to go. So once you've completed the job, so if we come out of here, and say for instance, we go onto our work planner and here's Mrs. Smith on at the top here. We click on her account. Now we're gonna make on that the job has been done and she's happy. So we would click done here. And what would happen is you would say continue. Okay, so the invoice would go through to Mrs. Smith. Okay, and then it would also pop up with the direct debit page. Now again, because I have not connected it, it's not popping up at the moment. But once you do have it connected, 
it will pop up and ask you, do you want to charge the customer? It will say the amount, you hit go, and that is as simple as that. So they get their invoice straight away. You get your money within sort of five to seven working days. That's what go card lists usually take to get your cash in and therefore you can get those direct debits done and dusted. Now the good thing about using Squeegee app in conjunction with Go Cardless is that if the payment fails for any reason, you will get an alert up here in the top left, this little alert bar which we looked at before. You will get an alert come up in here if the payment fails. So if the customer has insufficient funds or for any reason the transaction fails, you will get notified through Squeegee app that that has happened. Therefore, you can get in contact with the customer, let them know that the transaction hasn't gone through, and then obviously, hopefully, try and work it out with them. And hopefully, it's just a genuine reason things have gone wrong. But at least you've got that peace of mind that you get an alert if anything were to happen. So what I normally do with our clients is just let them know that the direct debit is always taken after the job has been completed for them. If that's the way you want to work it, then obviously by all means, that's what we do with our business. And we also tell them that as soon as I mark the job is done on our software, they will get an invoice straight away automatically. And they'll also get a message from Go Cardless to tell them that the direct debit has been activated. So they know exactly what's going on when it happens as well. So it keeps everybody right that the customer knows and you know when that payment has been taken and processed and all that. So there's no ums and airs about have they paid or have they not. Everything runs sweet as a nut and all automated and it saves you a lot of admin time as well. So I'll leave a link in the description below to Squeegee app and also to Go Cardless. So just remember to sign up for Go Cardless and then activate that in Squeegee app. Okay, if you need any assistance at all, I will leave the email address for Squeegee App again in the description below as well and their website and they're very happy to help you. If you've got any issues at all getting this activated, they will definitely help you out. So hopefully this video has been of use for you today. Any questions at all, just a brief summary about using Go Cardless in conjunction with Squeegee App today. Any questions, you know what to do, pop them in the box below and until next time, you take care, be good, and remember, keep on squeegee slinging.